everybody. Welcome to another fun staycation Bible school. Guess what? My special guest this week is Miss Brenda Benton. Hi, everybody. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Brenda used to work at the preschool with me in the two-year-old classroom. How's your summer going? It's awesome. It's hot, but it's fun. Good. Well, I'm so glad that you're here as my guest. So we've been talking about the fruit of the spirit. And guess what the fruit is that we're going to be talking about today? What? It is goodness. Mm -hmm. And I thought you would be the perfect person to talk to about goodness. So, Miss Brenda, would you read uh, the Bible verse, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 13 for us, on what it says about goodness? Sure. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. I love this verse because it really shows that God is working in you to help you do what pleases him. And being good and doing good deeds makes God very happy. God helps us to be good even when we don't feel like being good ourselves. So every time we can think of Jesus and everything he's done for us, it really helps us want to love each other in a very special way. That is so nice, Brenda. So when we trust his word and we walk in, in spirit, we automatically do the good that Jesus wants us to, to be. That's great. Yes, and only by his power working in you can there be goodness created in your heart. For example, if you wanted to share a toy with somebody in your class, you can remember how God has shared his love with us. He shared his whole world with us. And so it's so nice for us to be able to share toys with, the, with our friends and with our classmates because God has shared so much with us. That's so wonderful, Brenda. I'm so glad that you're here talking about goodness. And I can't wait because now we're going to listen to our other friends talk about goodness. Um, so are you, are you ready, Brenda? I'm ready. All right. Well, let's get to it. The fruit of the Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Goodness. Dino jumping, dino standing, plus built-in dino talking action with attitude. The Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Just go for it. Whoa, is that the Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure I see there? Yeah, my mom gave me this for my half birthday. She always gives me the toy I want because I'm such a good boy. Well, that's really cool. Could I see it? No, I don't like to share. It's mine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to walk away from you now. Hans, you left your... Just go for it! Huh? Who said that? I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop with built-in talking action. You can do it! Do what? Are you saying I can take Hans's toy? That's stealing! Don't be a wimp! Just go for it! Do it! Hmm. Do it! What do should it, I do? do, it, do it. Hey, Armin. What you got there? Hans dropped his Captain Karate Dino Cop action figure, and it's telling me to steal! You can do it! Just go for it! Uh, you do know you're listening to a toy, right? How about listening to what God says? James 4, 17. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. God says it's a sin to steal. So I shouldn't take this. I should give it back to Hans. Do the right thing! You said it, Captain Karate Dino Cop. I'm Captain Karate Dino Cop. Hans, I think this is yours. Oh, that old thing? Who needs it? Uba, destroy this plastic relic. Affirmative. Do the right thing! Oh, what a waste of a perfectly good action figure! I have the new toy! Sergeant Captain Karate Dino Cop! Goodness! Captain Karate Dino Cop, it's all out in every shop. How could Hans let it drop? Goodness! Should Armin go for the steal when the toy spits for real? No, he knew a better way! Armin was good today! 
Hi friends, welcome to Staycation Bible School. Our story this week is a really good story. And look, it's at the very beginning of the Bible. In fact, it's the very first story in the Bible. And it's all about how our world started. You see, before our world was made, there was nothing. Now that's kind of confusing to think about, but that's what the Bible says. And it says, God was there. So God looked around and he said, I have a great plan. I'm going to put something into this nothing. And I think I'll put everything into this nothing. God spoke and some things started to happen. The first thing God made was some light and some, then there was some darkness and he called them day and night. And he said, this is good. And then he made the water and the sky and he separated them into the places they were supposed to be. And he said, this is good. Then he made some land and he made some plants to grow up on the land. Trees and flowers and bushes and grass. And he said, this is good. Next came the sun and the moon and the stars. And he said, put those into the night sky. Put them by the earth to help everything grow. He looked at the stars and the sun and the moon and he said, this is good. Look what came next. Animals of all different kinds. Oh my goodness, look at all the different animals God made. He had so much fun making all different kinds of animals. And when he got all done, he said, you guys are good, I am liking this. But God had saved the best for last. Do you know what that is? God made the first people. Adam and Eve. And when he, after he made them, the very first thing they saw was God. And they were so happy and God loved them so much. And he looked at them and he said, this is good. I want you to live in this beautiful home that I've made, this beautiful, wonderful land with all these animals. It is really a good thing. Adam and Eve were so happy to live there and they were so happy to be living with God. It was good. I'm thinking about the video we watched and how Armin decided to do something that was good. He thought about maybe doing the wrong thing and keeping the toy for himself, but he decided he should listen to what God says and do the right thing. He was good that day. Those things are sometimes hard, but we know that with God in our heart and with his Holy Spirit helping us, we can be good too. I'm so glad you came to Staycation Bible School this week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi kids, it's Mrs. Barrett. I am back at Savannah's house in Minnesota again this week. And she was such a great little dancer and helper a couple weeks ago that I thought, let's do another song, okay? You ready? So this week we are studying about the fruit of the spirit goodness and the song that we're going to teach you some actions for is a song called Thank You. It's totally fun. When you see the video, the kids are outside drawing with big letters and chalk all over their driveway. You're going to love this video. Okay, so the refrain goes, I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. One, two, three. I want to be punch, thankful. I want to be pray, grateful. I want to be punch. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be again. I want to be, I want to be thankful. Good job. See you next week. <laughs>
Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in Boys and girls, and welcome to Staycation Bible School. This is week number six. Today, the fruit of the Spirit we're going to talk about is goodness. And when you think about something good, you may think about the kind of food you like, things that you like to do, shows that you like to see that are good. But one of the things that is the best in the whole world is how good God is to us and the good things that He gave us. First of all, he made this whole world for us. And when you read the Bible story, it says every day when God was finished, it was good. So everything that God created is good. You're good, I'm good, all of our friends, all the people that he created is good. And if God says it's good, we know that it's good. So our craft that we're going to make is going to be about the story of creation. You can share this with your friends. You can make it. You can show it to your family and tell the story of how God is so good in the world that he created. So we're going to start off. This is what our finished project is going to look like that you're going to make. We start off with a simple paper plate that you probably have around your house. And we have three different ways that you can color it and make it look like the earth. The first way is to use watercolors, blue and green. You can use these, this kind of watercolors also, or you can even use markers. And then you would just put them on the plate and spray a little bit of water on them. I'm gonna take some of the watercolors. I'm gonna use a little bit of green for all of my land. I'm going to do a little bit of land and I'm going to make it look kind of like an earth. Then I'm going to take the blue for all of the water that God made. And I'm going to put the blue wherever we don't have the land. So then you're going to let that dry for a little bit. It'll take just a little bit for the plate to dry. Then once it's dry, it's going to look like this. Then the next step, you're going to fold your plate in half. Take a pair of scissors and you're gonna make two cuts in your plate. About that far. And it's gonna be about the size of the little coloring sheet that you're gonna have. Now, if your mom or dad or whoever goes to the Staycation website, they can print up this picture that you're gonna color and it's the days of creation. So you're gonna color all the pictures however you want it. You can use crayons, markers, however you wanna color. Then you're gonna cut out each of the strips and you're going to tape them together. And a little hint is leave a little bit at the top so you have room to pull your strip through. So once I have it colored, you're gonna open up your plate like this and then you kind of feed this through from the back and you feed it through the next slit on the paper plate and it'll start out saying the days of creation. So here is what it will look like. You start out here the days of creation and you go through each day of creation. Now, for some of you who are a little older, what you can do is you can read the Bible story and write on it each 
day what God created. So you can get your friends together. You can have a little staycation Bible school of your own and you can go through and while you're reading on the back, you can have a little slideshow of what God created for all of us to show his goodness and how much he loves us. So I hope you enjoy doing the craft. I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. We have been talking about creation today, and we are here to make a creation of our own. We're going to make a little bouncy ball to remind us of the earth. It's going to be round just like the earth is, just like the earth that God created for us. So let's get started. All right, I have a few simple ingredients that you might have at home. Um, just a half a cup of water here that I warmed up in the microwave. I have a little bit of food coloring. I have some cornstarch that you can find in the kitchen. And I have some laundry booster called Borax that we're gonna use for this experiment. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take a half cup of warm water and I'm going to take my tablespoon and I'm gonna measure one tablespoon of borax powder, that's this laundry detergent powder, into the warm water. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna stir it up, and it's, the water's warm so it will help dissolve the powder. So I give this a good stir, and I'm gonna let that sit. Now I'm going to take my white school glue and I'm going to put two tablespoons of school glue in this empty container. So. There's one. And here's my second one. We're creating the earth. Creation takes time. It only took God six days to create the earth. And on the seventh day, he looked at what he created and he said, this is good. So I have my glue in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cornstarch to the glue. Okay, so I have my tablespoon and here's my cornstarch. And I'm just going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch to my two tablespoons of glue. And I'm gonna mix it up. Fun, fun. Mix it till they're both combined. And then I'm gonna add a smidge of green food coloring. So you can kind of see that mixture. It's looking good. Kind of looks like vanilla frosting or something, but we wouldn't want to eat it because it's cornstarch and glue. Okay, so that looks great. Let's add just a drop, two drops of green food coloring. I'm gonna stir this in. Okay, there we go. Now is, now comes the fun part. Okay, so I have my glue mixture and cornstarch with a little food coloring and I have my borax in warm water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue mixture and I'm gonna scrape it out of here and put it in the borax. And then I'm not gonna touch it right away. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 15 seconds and then we're gonna see what happens. But while we're waiting, um, we can kind of reflect on this beautiful earth that God has given us to take care of. We have animals and flowers and just people and all sorts of things that God surrounds us with because he loves us and wants us to take care of each other and take care of the plants and the animals that he has given to us to keep us company. So, all right. You ready? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to stir this a tiny bit. Oh yeah, so cool. Can you see that? Look at this. I'm going to take it out. So fun. Oh, and I have this kind of gushy ball. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, can you see that? All right. 
So I'm just gonna squish it around in my hands and I'm gonna stick it in here. It's still a little sticky, so I'm gonna stick it back in the solution to see if it hardens a little bit. Mm, it's not totally hardening, unfortunately, but sometimes science doesn't always work. But I think if we keep playing with it, it's starting to firm up a little bit. Oh, and there we have it, our little earth that we made. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, God gave us this beautiful world to take care of. I'm going to let this set up for a little bit, and then I'm going to test it once it hardens to see if it'll bounce. Okay, boys and girls, I've been kind of bouncing this around in my hands, rolling it around in my hands for about five minutes. Um, are we ready to see if it bounces? Okay, here we go. Here's our little mini earth. is pretty cool. So fun. Hopefully you can make one of these at home um, and it will remind you of this amazing creation and this amazing world in which we live. Thanks for joining us. Bye everybody. Oh. <laughs> wow, boys and girls, what a wonderful lesson about goodness. I know. I loved the creation craft with Miss Kathy and the Bible story of creation. Wow, God is so good. He really is. And what about that song, Thankful? Oh, I love that song. We sang that last year at VBS. And, and how amazing was Mrs. Osmond's experiment? I love that. So great. So great. So, Ms. Brenda, what would you like to tell the kids about goodness? What, what things could they come up with about being and showing goodness? Well, when I think about goodness, I think about your being able to speak kind words to your friends and to your family, and you're always trying to say nice things to build other people up. I also see goodness as helping people. If your parents need help cleaning up, it is very, very good to be able to say, hey mom, hey dad, can I help you with whatever you need? Those are two ways that you can show goodness just right where you are at home. That's beautiful, Brenda. I love that. All right, boys and girls. So let's show our goodness this week to our friends and family and neighbors. Brenda, would you send us off in prayer today? Sure, I would love to. Let's all fold our hands and bow our heads. Lord, help me to look for the good and be the good in my daily life. Please help me to grow in the fruit of the Spirit goodness so that I may carry out the good works that you have prepared for me to do in only the way that pleases you. Lord, help me to be good to my neighbors, to my friends, to my family, and especially to God, because he has been so good to me. Lord, I pray and ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brenda. I so enjoyed seeing you and having you on as our guest. Thank you. I really enjoyed being here and learning about goodness. Thank you. All right. Enjoy the rest of your summer, Brenda. Bye, everyone. Stay tuned for next week. Bye.